Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Boy, has it been a crazy week and do I have a lot of stuff going on. Last weekend was our list racing and I'm sorry to say I got knocked off number two spot and I'm now sitting at number three. Congratulations to the top two racers. Made me start to really, really go deep into look for some things that could help give me an edge that they're already doing to bring me up to speed. Slacked off a little bit the past couple weeks. Work has been very intense now that we have another COVID wave going on. This week was no exception. Plus, the weather has just not cooperated at all. If I get home past dark, it is uh, raining before then. So we've got a lot of upcoming videos that things that we're working on. First of all, here's the breakout car. This car is getting a few changes. I still haven't done a full video about any of it yet, but I think after this weekend there will be because I'm definitely gonna put a lot of focus on this car, a lot, that is for sure. Got everything I need for it. Tires, tires, tires. We're doing all kinds of stuff. Front buggy tires, sanding them down, making them smaller. That way, it's supposed to improve your handling and all that kind of stuff. Everybody's doing it, I'm not. So we have to go that route have a video on that coming up. Lots of tool organization and parts organization. I did build a buggy for the winter time, so I've got buggy parts. I've got kind of a mess going on, just some things that have to be cleaned up. Here's the B6.3 sitting right here. Of course, not in very good light, but we'll be talking about this baby a lot. We got to do something during the winter time here in Ohio, guys and this is what's gonna be going on along with maybe some other indoor carpet action. Now, as we come into the main entrance of the cave here, you can see we have all kinds of stuff, the parts and all that stuff I was telling you about for parts organization. I got some new fluids that are in today, extra stuff for making the tires, cutting them down, sanding them, I also have stuff for the rear tires here somewhere. Yep, here you go, a pump and a bunch of valves. So we are gonna be taking our Showtime Plus wheels, filling these reactions up with air. Too bad they're not Voodoo's, but that's just the way that it goes for right now. So let me know if you guys wanna know more about this kind of stuff. DR10 had to do some work on the wheelie bar, got that all taken care of. I was trying things out with a slipper eliminator. I really don't like it right now. I might if I had more time to practice. So I went back to the really tight slipper with the carbon fiber slipper pads on there. Still running the DRK. Actually had a DRK in the breakout and was testing it and it failed. It turns out that they do have a recall notice on any DRKs that were made in the last couple batches. So if you have one that has failed on you recently or you've bought one maybe in the past like three to four weeks, you might want to look at the bottom of it and go on the clan's website and see if you fit inside that area. They're just going to give you a brand new one. There's a quick look at some of the shaved down front tires that we got on there. And you compare that to a size of a regular Hoosier. And you can see that uh, there's a pretty big difference as far as height and all that kind of stuff goes. And then of course, finally, this baby, the Sanwa M17. You really can't run these ESCs without it. I'm good. I could have tried with the Fataba and I did a little bit. Maybe I could have put a little bit more effort into it, but there's so much information out about how to use the R modes and everybody is using them with the bullet chassis and all that kind of stuff that it's just hard to turn your back on that kind of knowledge. So now we're going to be able to apply that out there to the Tekken. And of course, we might have some special motors that we'll be trying on that stuff. So first impressions, I really like it. It feels great in my hand, just as good as the Futaba does. It's not a complete touch screen. It does have like a little bit of a touch interface, but it's got a built-in rechargeable battery, which is pretty nice. You don't have to go ahead and buy an extra one. And there we go. There's your screen and all that kind of stuff. Looks horrible through the camera lens, wow. Glad it doesn't look like for that for real. So you can see guys that we just got a lot of stuff going on here. Quick update just to let you know what's going on to stay engaged with you guys. You should be seeing some more content within the next couple days. I think everything's gonna work out and be great and we're definitely gonna learn a lot applying all these different tricks. I'm really excited about the tires and of course the sand wall. We'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot and peace.